wearing his scarves today. Oh, shit. How's the picture? Good. Hey, here you are. Hi, everybody. Saturday, 7 p.m. You know what that means. Side dish time. So we're keeping on our theme with the steakhouse side dishes. Um, we uh, Last week, if you didn't tune in, you should go watch the previous video. It's, uh, we did cream corn. And let me tell you, very good. Um, we kind of gilded the lily with that a little bit by adding cream cheese and mozzarella, shredded mozzarella to it. But So we're going to go simple, a little bit more simple on this one. Um, we're just going to do, it's a garlic butter parmesan Tuscan mushrooms. What makes it Tuscan? We think it's the Sunday tomatoes. Um, I really like uh, the Mazetta brand. Um, I don't know. I just think that's what I can get around here, but I also really like the flavoring on it. Um, you could get generic or whatever else brand you like if you have one in your area. Um, we already have some diced. I'm going to dice a little bit more just to show you that process. It comes parsley, uh, uh, button mushrooms, or these are actually cremini mushrooms, I should say. Uh, if you don't know, cremini mushrooms are just baby bell, you know, that's it. Portobello mushrooms, that's it. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, Parmesan cheese, beef broth, uh, crap a load of garlic. We're talking uh, eight, eight cloves of garlic. But um, so it's going to be real good. We're again pairing it with some steaks tonight because, you know, that's what we got. Um, just a regular saucepan. You don't need anything too fancy. Again, this should take you about less than 30 minutes according to the recipe, and that's including the prep. Um, so let's just start. Okay. We need to, we need to mince this garlic and I have shown in the past that I just use my crusher usually for this, but, uh, I want it to be, have a little bit more, um, body to it instead of being sort of more disappeared in the mix. If you're going to put eight cloves of garlic into something, it probably is a reason that there's that many you want to have. Um, yeah. You want to feel it. You want to feel it. Speaking of which, I didn't say what, you know, we're on episode nine. That's nine, which is crazy. Um, we got a special thing coming up. We'll do for our 10th episode. Um, pretty excited about that. It's um, You'll be excited about that, too, when you see it. Uh, what are you doing? Right now, I'm just chipping the little, like, a stem end where the roots would come out if you were going to play it that bad boy. So I don't want to do that. You can't eat that part? I wouldn't. It's just tough, yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so are you throwing that all on the ground for those people who are new to watching us? No, I got one of these things. Okay. I got a little basket. <laughs> so uh, we got like a we got them, there's one here, one here, one over there, all over the place. So um, yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna all I'm really gonna do first is just I'm gonna slice get them sliced. I want them in fairly decent size. I don't want uh, like I don't want them paper thin. I want them to have like, we're looking at it like, like that. You know, it's maybe an eighth of an inch. Maybe less. Maybe even less, maybe a sixteenth. But again, when I chop them up, they're going to have, you're going to feel that there's going to be chunkiness. And all I'm really, now I'm just kind of turning it over and doing that. So let me get this you, process. Uh, I saw you sharpen your knife before we started tonight. I did. You didn't hone it. No. You sharpened it. Yeah, I don't. There's two, yeah, I don't really believe, I mean, I'm sure that honing is fine if you are somebody who uses your knife like a professional chef. So there's a difference. If you don't know, your blade has a sharp edge on it that does the cutting. When you cut anything, including yeah, literally anything, your the blade moves. If it's a hard steel, like these blades are, that it takes a while, but over time, the, the edge turns. So what you're, you're cutting on is a flat edge. Honing it, which is, a, I don't even think we have a hone anymore. Uh -uh. Um, the, 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 the blade sharpener that I have um, with, a, I think, Chef's Choice is a really good one. Um, it has just a honing side on it. So you can just go in and it, it'll take the blade and put it back. I always give it a couple of things in the sharpener too, just because... I don't know. I seem to be really rough on knives. So 
Yeah. Also, we put our knives in the dishwasher and that dulls them. Do not do that. <laughs> I'm lazy. If you're not, you know. So again, I'm just, as we're doing that, I didn't want to chop my fingers off. I'm not very fancy when it comes to, you know, so. You could um, go less garlic. I don't know why you would, though. I mean, garlic is in the title of the recipe. So, um, plus, this is about gilding the lily, right? The same thing as we did with the cream corn or uh, cream spinach last week is that these are uh, to go along with decadence, right? You're going to a steakhouse, you're going to get a fat steak or, you know, some steakhouse meal. Like, you can eat this with a good piece of chicken or pork chop. Um, so, you know, you could, you want to kind of, you're going to, you're not, you're not eating this every day. Right. If you are, then I mean the six or so tablespoons of butter in it, um, it's not going to be good for you. So you know, if you're going to do it for a special occasion, go all out. Do it. So again, so we're almost. Well, that is a too big of a piece. How's the chat tonight? How is everybody? Everybody good? Kelly and John say hello. Excellent. Um, we had a nice week. We've been uh, doing a pro been doing projects all week um, at Denise's house. Our friend Denise, we um, aka production assistant Denise, is doing an amazing job. Uh, a we put in new floors and uh, put the ba new baseboards in, and we did a bunch of stuff. We cleaned out one of our rooms here in our house for um, in my mother in law's sitting room. Put new floors in there. Replaced the painted. Put new furniture. I mean, it looks like a whole new place. So, so all I'm doing right now is just running my, you know, I'm just running my knife through the garlic. I'm just getting it into smaller chunks. Right now, this is a big chop. I'm going to go a little bit finer. Um, you want to check your, yeah, let's do that. You want to check your blade every once in a while because garlic has um, the Allison in it and it's sticky and it, when it activates and so... Um, it's, um, you know, you want to check your blade. Just take your finger, be very careful along the edge, and just scrape off and, you know, go back to work. You're going to have, you want oddly, you want different shapes. You don't want it, if you wanted it crushed, you would just crush it, right? You just put it in the crusher, but, or mince it, you know. That wiping of the blade with your finger used to make me really nervous. I always thought I was going to slice my finger, but knock on wood. I never have. Yeah. But do it slowly and pay attention to what you're doing. Exactly. You don't want to – Every look, cooking is about being in the moment, a lot of it. So you want to take your time, you know. I understand, like, rushing through meals. If you get off work, you need to come home, you know, and get through it. But if, you should take the time. If you really like to cook, take the time. Um, so yeah, I've got I've, now I've got it basically where I want it to be, and um, yeah. So I'm just gonna I've got odd sizes, big, small, a little bit, and then we're gonna just take um, our fry pan. We're gonna heat it, and um, we're gonna take our six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna melt it, and we want it to get. Um, it's gonna foam up. And we want that. It's gonna turn like a brown color. It's like brown. Gonna get like right before brown butter stage. Um, and then we're gonna. And I'm doing this on medium, basically medium, because I'm gonna throw the garlic in, and I want it to. I want it to gently cook, and get up about a minute or two minutes, depending on you know your. But if you're like medium high or medium, you know, just watch it. It's really hot in Reno and Sparks right now. It was like 97 today. The overnights have been like 60. It's terrible. Holy moly. I hate the heat. Well, I shouldn't say that. I like it. We have a love-hate relationship. So, all right. What's that? It's six tablespoons of butter. Yeah. Unsalted. Because we're going to be adding our own seasoning. So I don't want the butter to bring anything. If if it calls, if a recipe calls for salted butter, use it. But if you're if you're baking for sure, which we might do rolls one of these, uh, like a dinner roll, a really good like a dinner roll recipe I use for Thanksgiving, and 
It's really, really good. What are we looking at? Where'd you get your apron? This apron is from M-E-N-T Trades. Mint Trades. But where like, did you order it? I don't remember. Uh, and the Amazon. Not the rainforest, the website. So, you know, we're going to let that um, go. While we're doing that, push this off to the... Right. Teddy's giving you a hard time because you're a cook with a love-hate relationship with Keith. <laughs> where, hey, hey, Ted, where, where are you right now if you've got internet? You're on your West Coast adventure. And John has finished building his composting bin. He showed me pictures of them. I'm glad they look pretty good. Um, how's everybody... Uh, How's everybody coping with, you know, the masks Ooh. and all that kind of stuff? Teddy and family are in Moab. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, all right, so we the butter is melting. Get it swirled around. It, again, it's a lot of butter. But it's, again, gar we're making garlic butter, and then we're going to really make this come together. <laughs> so the other thing is, is this is about, uh, we need a half cup of uh, parsley. This is Italian flat leaf parsley. There is standard parsley, which is curly. Um, I don't like it as much. I, I mean, think it's woodier tasting or yeah. something. This is just my preference for cooking and stuff. So I'm just going to. How much do we need? One half cup. We'll see what this does and then go from there. So I'm just rolling it, you know, kind of in a tight bundle. Why? Call the ship and rod. Yes, because we're going to make a ship and rod. And now that's fancy French, French, Frenchy French, French, um, because I want to. I only want to cut this once, so this allows me to get it into smaller pieces. If I cut it like in whole pieces, I gotta go. I gotta go to town on it. And I don't want to do that. So, and I'm just doing a, a rocking motion here. You know, pretty tight. Some of this is gonna go in and get cooked, and then some of it is gonna be for garnish afterwards. So, you know. Take your time. Herbs are a thing that I am still learning about and feeling like getting comfortable with, especially like if you're build, building a salad or something like that. What's the difference between, you know, adding some leafy herbs like cilantro or parsley or, you know, take some um, dill fronds or like we did with the salad the other night and, um, and, and really just kind of, zhuzh it up as it would be again. Ooh, we got, so we're getting there. It's starting to foam up and it's starting to, um, it's starting to bubble. If you had, if you could hear it, it's getting to where you want it to be. And we're going to let it go just a little bit more and then we're going to add the garlic. Once again, um, how many of you, what's, what's the split in the chat room versus people who like mushrooms who don't like mushrooms? Because it's a sort of a bone of contention with a lot of people. They think, I love mushrooms. Um, they are woody. They add a ton of umami. Um, if you get, you can get dried ones, and the dried ones last basically forever in in your pantry. And if you need to get basically like a, a umami bomb or a, like a really savory bomb into a soup or a stock, you can just add a few of those in there. And the as they rehydrate they'll cut the liquid will come out of them and it's just it's really 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 good so if you're like if you're vegan or um vegetarian that's a a good way to the folks watching love mushrooms oh that's good i used to think mushrooms just tasted like dirt but uh i think you know you get a more sophisticated palate the older you get maybe let's talk about mushrooms really quick so as i said these are community mushrooms and basically they're they're un uh, they're baby portobello mushrooms. I I read that somewhere. It could be a fact check you might need to make. But um, so there's like myths out there about mushrooms, right? That you can't wash them because they'll take on water and then they'll be too wet for your things. It's baloney. You, you, if you're gonna get, if you have them, just wash them, right? You're, all you're really doing is, you know, the amount of this is right. You think if I was soaking these, maybe. But Alton Brown did an episode in Good Eats where he literally did this and he soaked them for like eight hours or something. And they took out the, the it was negligible, the amount of um, 
of moisture that they they took up. So what I'm, all I'm doing here is I'm just going to wash a few of these, uh, wash the rest of these, and then if you want, this, just do this. If you see dirt or visible dirt, you can take it off. You don't really want you want that outer kind of skinny stuff. So that whole thing about having your mushroom brush and just brushing the dirt off, that's not necessary. Oh, I mean, if you want to waste a bunch of time and brush your mushrooms like they're like your pets or your kids or whatever like that, I mean, go ahead. I'm not going to do it. All I'm really doing is I'm doing, I got a colander. I'm doing a, a, some water and a quick toss. Now, I do want to dry these off before I add them to the pan here. And not quite yet. That's not quite nutty. I'm <clears throat> not it. All right. But it is close. So really, I'm just going to, you know, a little bit of wipe down here. And I'm just keep knocking off the neck. I probably here. Here's probably a better way to do this. We're learning as we go here, folks. <laughs> so this does seem like a better idea. Give them a shake. You could have put them in the salad spinner. You could have put them in the salad spinner, probably. That we're. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're gonna we're gonna figure out figure out the best way for the to make the salad spinner not just spin salad, but spin everything. All yeah. you need moisture gone. I don't know. Throw it in there. Okay. I mean, I could probably get like a little dehydrator or something like that. That's it, right? That's it. That's all we need. This is ready. I can smell it. So as butter as butter gets brown, it gets a nutty aroma to it. And so we want to, you know, I've got this gentle. John is threatening to pressure wash them next time. I don't know. I think it, you just obliterate them. Yeah, I mean, that's probably something you did do. It would get the dirt. And Teddy is hoping for uh, to legally eat mushrooms in Oregon next year. That is, uh, yeah, that's uh, second syllabus. Michael, and uh, Billy is voting for salad spinner to be used in each episode. Oh, it is a fun tool. All right, so you see, okay, see how I added the garlic. I'm gonna actually turn this down, but that foaming is yeah. like the milk solids and the water that's in butter, like releasing and boiling up. But again, it smells unreal in here right now. Because as we all know, if you want to be a pro chef, just add garlic to butter in the pan and you're going to be fine. Oops. Did you miss me? Nope. No. I got you. All right. So we're going to, this is like, we're in the thick of it now. This is going to come together pretty fast. These are going in whole. I'm not chopping these. We, they are going to be Piper. Oh, the fish. There's a, we got a fish for one of the cats. <laughs> And it, when you step on it, it goes, it goes the tail flops like a, it's like a salmon. It's pretty hilarious. So one of the dogs just stepped on it, and I was like, what does that sound? Um, so, sorry. We're going to add the butter, let brown, but not burn. Mushrooms. And then the mushrooms are going to take a little bit, because here's, here's, here's a trick, right? We want to get we want to get the outside crispy, so we want some heat to it. But, but like, mushrooms release liquid. So we're going to get through that phase, which is, this is going to take, what is it? Five to six minutes to get through that phase. And then, and I'm going to, I'm going to stand over here and we're going to do it together. Oh uh, my God. It smells so good in here. Right. right? I'm telling you, just the butter and the <laughs> oh, garlic. All right. This has not been on for maybe more than 45 seconds, but the garlic is already browning. So that's all we really need. I mean, so now I'm just going to add these same thing whole mushrooms if you wanted to if these were unwieldy for you just cut them in half um will they shrink probably they're gonna lose moisture so they're gonna get you know so oh man it, it smells so good in here um i would think give a little stir no. uh we're not seasoning any of this until the end um we're just going to let everything kind of come together here. So the garlic. Oh, yeah. So see what I did there? They're not really going to crisp, though, right? No, because as this relief, so the reason we're doing the garlic right now is we I'm wanted sorry, them to get brown. And then, the, and then when the mushrooms go in, they're going to start releasing liquid. And that liquid is going to help us 
prevent the um, mushrooms from turning, from getting too much milk. Oil. But continue that. So I've covered, the mushrooms are covered, and we're good to go. All right, so five to six minutes. Let's talk, um, again, let's chop some, um, or dice, some uh, dry, sun dried tomatoes. I'm going really to move this over there so we can see what's going on in the stove. Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Someday we'll have a okay. stove cam and then we'll. I don't know. I'm doing pretty well easy. I know. Right I'm not saying you're not, but I mean, I want to be able to <laughs> concentrate on different things. So these are. I love sun dried tomatoes. Do you like sun dried tomatoes? These are already julienne cut, and the only reason I got julienne cut is because I was going to chop or dice them anyways. Mm -hmm. um, I probably did. I get. Yeah, I got both of them doing it. Yet, but well, I think, I that's think it's like that just because uh, then it's just easier to add to pasta or whatever. Uh, I recommend getting it out with a fork. It's packed in oil. It's delicious. That oil, if you ever want to start like pasta or cooking like um, pine nuts and um, like you could do pine nuts and do a little of this oil with it, coat the pine nuts and, and, and really get them really brown and delicious. Add this, add the meat of the tomato in, meat, and then add cheese, Parmesan cheese and stuff. And you could just add like regular, like any pasta you want. We like bow tie pasta with it or, you know, any kind of pasta like that. And it's so good how good it is. All right. So we're just, I'm just, you know. What's going on with the mushrooms over there? I'm, oh, what's Julian cut? Um, they're in ribbons, yeah. basically. They're thin ribbons. I don't know. They shouldn't be any more than I think like half an inch at that. I mean, probably a quarter of an inch. It's, it's really, they're really, what do you mean what's going on? I mean, like what's happening over there? I mean, it smells so good. What happened to the heat? Did you just lower the heat? I didn't know. I, uh, I lowered it before I added the mushrooms in. Now I've added the mushrooms and now I have um, added a little bit more heat. Now what's happening is if you look at a couple of these here, you can see it's starting to soften, but these have got a little bit to go. I mean, we're going to have to let these, we're going to have to have a conversation. I don't know. Okay. We'll figure that out. So really, and I'm just, again, you can rock through. You really could just serve that. You could. But, but this, but this says dice. So no, no, I'm saying you could just serve what's in the pan right now and it oh, would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, what makes it Tuscan, in our opinion, is the addition of sun-dried tomatoes because every Tuscan dish, Tuscan named dish that I've ever eaten, has the addition of has sun-dried tomatoes. Is yep. that a thing there? I think that's, you know, I think it's safe to say. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I did. Uh, yes, Denise is here. And the wine tonight is by a vineyard called E16 in the Russian River Valley. We're having a 2015 Chardonnay. Fantastic! I'm having um, I'm having a uh, measuring glass full of water. <laughs> so again, this is doing its thing. You kind of want to be on top of this because you want to turn these. Get a little bit more heat here. But you, I, you don't want these like uber soft. Right at the end of this cooking, they should be cooked through and warm and and delicious that way. But you don't want them to be like mushy. You know, when you cook mushrooms, they can get down. But they are releasing moisture. They're taking on kind of that the uh, butter that was in here as well. So my God, it smells good. We got a few more minutes. So we're doing ten. We have ten episodes. We'll be doing ten. 10th episode next week, um, which is crazy that we're already at episode 10. So we have an idea of what we're going to, what we want to do, but we want to do kind of it like we're going to do a special one at 10, a special one at 25. So put in the comments what you think we should do for number uh, our episode 25 for a side dish. Like should be big. It should be nice. And like one of those things where you're like, Ooh, that is like really decadent and, and a really one of my favorite things. So put that in there and then let us know. The other thing is I just, again, want to thank everybody for your support and your comments and everybody, you know, sharing and doing stuff back and forth with us. Um, we've gotten some, we got some actual comments on videos and things like that, which is cool. 
Um, got yeah, this video was supposed to be remote. We were supposed to be doing it from wine country. Yeah, that's true. That is this weekend. Canceled our plan. Yeah. So this has got a wine country feel to it. I mean, it's fancy. Tuscany, Italy, <laughs> grapes. Amy's drinking wine. So yeah, I mean, so there you go. Um, yeah, so back to, you know, I just continue, you're continuing to support as that. I've started, I, I, I put together a Facebook fan page for this. So I'm going to be posting the links to all the videos, past videos to it. It, I'll, and you'll probably get an invite um, if you know anybody who think you would like it. Also invite them, um, like and subscribe if you already haven't. The likes are really important. The more likes on videos, the better we are in trending, so that's good for us. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if this is a thing that will – we want to get through at least, what, 26 episodes, which is half a year, and then see where we're at, and then continue. we'll continue to go. But that's our goal is to do 26 in a row, and then if we get to there, we're going to do a year. So, all right. So these are starting, you'll, you'll see, these are going to start, they're starting to brown, which is good. That's what we want. Um, like, you'll see, like, on these ones here, they've got a little bit of brown spot on them. And that's what we want. We want a little bit, because it's going to form fond on the bottom of the pan and then we're going to take advantage of that and that's what we're going to deglaze basically with beef stock okay so, you said a lot of cooking terms there we might need some fond is the little brown bits at the bottom of the pan deglazing is when you add usually it's mostly uh, it, it can be used any liquid but wine is typically the one that you would use or I mean, you could use actually any alcohol um you know when they flambe stuff they're usually deglazing the pan it's what we're doing is anything that's sticking to the bottom of the pan is we oh, that flavor. Yeah, it's going to be flavor, and we want all of that. All right, so I'm going to add sun dried tomatoes, this, and then everything's going to cook for another minute. Again, get all that oil if you can in there, right? It's flavor, it's already there, it's free, it's free out of the jar. So, I got it mixed. We did uh, attempt to make our own sun-dried tomatoes once. They weren't sun-dried, they were dehydrated. Yeah. I, I'm they were not good. Yeah, they were, they were too They were too dehydrated. Um, <laughs> they were crispy? <laughs> yeah. Mm. We did, I think I want to do that a little bit more. I know you do dehydrate them. Well, a we used point. a dehydrator. We did. Rather than doing like a slow dehydration in the oven. And the dehydrator, I mean, it's, you're doing it over a day or two, which is basically what you would do in the oven as well. So, um, all right. But We're there's no heat in a dehydrator. True. True, true. I need more butter. I'm not taking the camera over there because the light is over there. Light! The, the light. light! Aziz! Light! This is a big no no. For me to come off camera like that much? Yeah. Well, for me to not follow you. But That's all right. I made an executive decision. That's fine. Oh. Really got through that, Jack. Not saying you could spatchcock something, oh. but that's for main dishes you spatchcock. Yeah, what am I going to spatchcock that's a side dish, John? It's where you take the backbone out of a uh, out of a piece of uh, meat, like a take turkey or a uh, or a chicken, flatten it. and you flatten it, and then you roast it in the pan. Basically, what it does is it cause it, it reduces the cooking time by quite a bit because the surface area is um, is less. And it's getting fried on one side easier. Your very trusty assistant producer is running around taking all squeaky toys away from animals. I know. You should thank her. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at this really quick. That's what we're looking at right now. And oh, yeah. I got to tell you. Man, they should got to invent that smell vision for cats because that smells freaking amazing. All right. So we need... Uh, a quarter, what do we need here? 
four ounces of beef stock. So that's uh, half a cup, if you don't know. Eight ounces is a cup, four ounces is half a cup. So um, you, know, you can make your own beef stock. Pretty easy. Just get a bunch of beef bones, boil the hell out of them. From the butcher. And then if you want to make beef broth, no, beef stock is cooked. So you cook those first. Beef broth, just throw them in the thing, skim the skim the stuff off the top of it, and call it good. Did uh, you make a fifth element reference? I did. I missed it. I it said Aziz light. Oh, yeah. Uh, Adrian is suggesting all the barbecue sides, like hush puppies, fried okra, collard greens, black eyed peas. Oh, hush puppies are so good. They are. That is a great idea, Adriana. Um, see, this is why. I oh, wanted... see, and people are volunteering to bring the <laughs> main. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so maybe that's what I'll do. In order. In order for you to come to a taping of side dish, you are required to bring the main dish. I like dish. it. That's awesome. I will, uh, you can sit in the audience. You can heckle if you'd like. That's pretty much what Denise did. Yeah. She brought the steak. That's right. So we're gonna we're adding the pat. Uh, we're adding the stock and the rest of the butter, which is another four tablespoons of butter. Wow, it's, nice. it's basically it's not good for you. Again, I'm telling you, we're we're doing this because it's a decadent thing, right? Again, you want it to have some oomph to it. So throw it in there. I'm going to distribute these a little better than I did last time. And then what we're going to do is we need to let that reduce. I'm also scraping the bottom to pick up any of the fawn and deglaze it. Oh, um, geez. I'm doing a terrible job of this. I got sidetracked by the comments. Uh, we also have a request for from Kim for camping sites that are easy to make and easy to clean up. Ooh. We should do like, um, we should, I, I'll, that's a great idea. I think one of the things that we could do, we could do, I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to start doing is series, like steakhouse series. Maybe we'll do a camping series or barbecue series and in which, like a barbecue joint, not like a barbecue, backyard barbecue, but you could do both. But like when you go to a barbecue place, like, you know, or I guess what I'm saying is if you barbecue, you're not typically making hush puppies as a sign. So, yeah, I think this is a good idea because then we can, it'll, then I can also um, make playlists so you can watch like, ooh, the steakhouse series and yeah, bar, yeah, yeah. you know. So when I used to go camping with my sister. Did she uh, do stuff in bags? She did, she had like everything prepped beforehand, but you, we ate like kings when we were camping. Um, mm. It takes some prep. Right, but yeah, you can bag. My camp, everything comes out of a can or a bag, but yeah. you definitely can like have a little forethought. Well, we used to make uh, burritos and stuff, though that was good. Yeah, yeah, we pre bake those. Or if you if you wanted like the things like you could chop everything before you go, put it in your put it in your dip like sandwich bags and portion your sizes up so you know. Take like i have just really recently as a as a being a cooking person discovered blue painters tape for marking containers, right? So you put it on there, put it what it is, put a date, pull it out, throw it away. So um, let me turn this up a little bit. Because we want, we're reducing all of this by half because we're basically making a How delicious How much liquid stuff. is in there now? Did well, we get to a, see? Quite a bit. You can see like, it's okay. four ounces of beef broth plus. So we're gonna get that basically down to it's going to thicken up we're going to make a sauce out of it okay. i think kim is volunteering to help you with some french side dishes when she comes to visit me. i'm thinking that's a great idea yeah, i'm uh I do too. again i'm looking for we're looking for all kinds of ideas so and john is upset that we might not make hush puppies as a side no we're gonna make hush puppies man <laughs> it's okay listen everybody we're gonna get we're, Listen, if all it goes to plan crazy. and you start sharing these videos with all your friends and put it, you know, even people you don't like, I don't care, put it out there. Uh, that's that's really what's going to help us. The more viewers we have every week, the better it is for us. And then, you know, we can do more. I could, I, maybe I could pay Denise a little something, something for helping me prep everything every week. And, <laughs> and you know, maybe I can buy Amy <laughs> something nice. Right. Amy, I can buy Amy something nice with our, you know. Teddy wants German side dishes. He's all about that German. Yeah, well, he, you know, his family history. I don't know how to pronounce. First. 
No, S P A E T Z. Sprecken. Sprecken. the. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> so he wants to know if he wants them to advertise on their trailer. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Look, I'm we sure you have. I'm thing. sure you have some Heck sort. Yeah, of, we should put it on the RV. I'm sure you have some sort of embarrassing picture of me <laughs> that you could use of me going. You have that wow, very yes. nice logo that Th Jessica Bookie made. That's with. true. Ooh, who? How many in the chat would buy a T-shirt if I got T-shirts made? How many would you buy a side dish T-shirt with our logo on it? No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, there's a lag. Remember. That's uh, right. That's true. I've been told that there's a lag. I'm well. Uh, the person that told me there's a lag on the chat might have thought there was a lag, but actually it's me uh, censoring the chat. No, but she's doing. I'm trying not to censor. She's doing chat. much. She's doing great today. I'm getting everybody's questions. Actually, um, you have a lot of orders. Okay. I'm going to tell you what, we're, I think I'm going to do it. I was thinking, I have the logo. It's awesome. I think like starting just a white tee with the, the, the side dish logo on it. Not on the belly. You're pointing to the belly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like up here. Yeah. yeah. Or we could get like, if you want a little, maybe we get some uh, polos. You have a little monogram. No. I would like a baseball hat for my production. Ooh. Per, oh, oh could, yeah. Baseball hat. I'll make one that says production. I think doing a good job moderating. Yeah. That's good. Listen, Ted, you're on the short list for moderators if we get bigger and we need more help. So keep that in mind. Just keep playing your cards right and you're gonna you're gonna you can oh, help if out. That happened. I don't want to be in charge of the camera anymore. No, no, no. I'll if we get big enough, I'll bring somebody in to do camera work. Well then what will my job be? Switching scenes to make sure oh, you'll be the production. You'll be camera one. Camera oh, two. people are ordering. Okay. So just like last week. When we were getting, we're starting. It's, you can tell it's starting to thick up because you can run. Oh wait, wait, wait! You can run your spoon through it. What's that called? I don't know. It's I like Mark. I don't know. Remember, I don't I know. Don't the, remember what it's called. I don't remember the Jordan. Yeah. It smells so good. Yeah. So this is. Why good. is your parsley in two piles? Well, that's the question, right? So. Some is to wilt and some is to look real fresh when it's done. I don't know because uh, when the sauce is thick and the mushrooms have cooked down about half their size, which they have, uh, remove from heat and top with second half of parsley and fresh grated Parmesan. I didn't put parsley in it the first time. It doesn't say. Oh, parting the Red Sea. That's there. true. Yeah. Not cross Religious. We don't want these things. Do we really have a lot of orders? It's I mean, what you called it last year. Last time. Last time. Okay. Um, I think it has a name. It, I'm almost positive it has a cooking <laughs> name. But we're we're going to find it out. We'll, it, listen, all of you have Google. Look yeah. it up. What is that called? When the soft bit thickens? Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. Yeah, because that looks real high. If it's from That's here. City. Yeah. I'm going to add this, and we're going to let it... Oh, cook. no! What? Brian got stung by wasps today twice in the same ankle. Did you run through them? Brian is a runner. He's very um, inspirational. Not to us, because we don't run, but, I mean... He's he inspirational. He inspire me. He, he does, yeah, it, you inspire us to be better, but way we're so lazy. God, it's so lazy. Anyways, not to make this show though, top notch production we got going on here. <laughs> Again, okay, perfect. I'm just mixing this in. Um, I've got the half of the parts are there. We're gonna let this wilt down. I think yeah, that parsley is for decoration. And then oh, we'll, mowing his lawn. Oh, that sucks. That's like insult to injury. Yeah, you're like you're not even doing. Okay, I'm zooming in. I want we want to see what's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it together right now. You ready? Here we go. So we got that delicious Ooh, my sauce. Goodness. That's so good, right? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be good. How'd you get them all right side up? I don't know. I just turned it. Magic. Yeah. All right, so this is going down the low. And we're gonna add the grated Parmesan cheese. Uh -huh. And what's that gonna do? Emulsify? Is that gonna thicken it up? I don't know. It's gonna add cheesy deliciousness to it. Yeah. Um, that yes. come off your beautiful block? It did. 
It's what new, grate is that? The fine one? A tiny grate. The star one or the no, just little one? Tiny one. The little one. I don't really like the star grate. It's hard to do. It is hard I don't do. know what the po point of it is. Mm -hmm. Right now, I was going to make this again and use less butter. Shocking. <gasps> but I think the sauce has a little too much oilness to it. Now, you could probably add more um, of the beef stock. But, I mean, it looks delicious. We're going to let that just cook for, you know, get the cheese melty, melty, melty. And then, um, I mean, basically that's it, right? Now, no, we have to, to make, taste it. We're going to taste it, everybody? If you wanted to make, like, a mushroom sauce, could you get that green to that? Yeah. Ooh, so yeah. We, have a, we, have a recipe, we have a recipe, right, that we've been using, and that's um, basically mushroom, uh, chicken, and mushroom with mushroom hey, sauce. Jack's bum. Hey, Jack, get out of the kitchen, buddy. <laughs> I didn't even see him. He's like a spell. So he got a haircut. He looks so handsome. He does look so handsome. So let's get a little bit of this okay. in here. Oh, jeez, it's so hot. I think that's why Denise got your spoons. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot! I'm showing the mess. Mm. That's real good. Um. <laughs> You get the sun-dried tomatoes up front. You never added any salt to that, right? No. Neither that or pepper. And actually, it's a good point. It needs a little bit. Don't forget to turn your oven on for your stove top. Just a little bit. Oh. That looks like a lot. It's not. Any tiny bit of pepper. Now we're going to give it a stir. Says that that's going to add a boom in flavor because the salt is really going to bring everything out. Salt's an enhancer if you didn't know. See what I'm talking about? There's just a lot of oil. I think with uh, sun-dried tomatoes having their own oil. Yeah. So. Well, you could get yeah. them out with a slotted spoon. Yeah. Right. So Amy needs to take a little taste there. You are going to put the recipe on this. Yes, I'll, I'll link it. I think it. you've been bad about that. Yeah, I'm not good. Well, go. folks say you've been bad about it. Oh, man, you just slapped the mm. juice on the Man, that is so computer. good. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they got a really nice color to them. So they've got that sort of red, you know, red coloring. She hasn't eaten it yet. It's really hot. <laughs> also, I'm losing. I lost my words there. You like that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Or like you get the sun dried tomato and then you get like um and then you take a bite with the garlic and everything and the uh umami bomb you get from the mushrooms are really good. I feel like you could add bow tie pasta to that and be done. You could. It'd be amazing. Probably. But we're I, gonna put that on top of meat. Yeah. Oh. Huh? <laughs> we're amazing. Meat. All right, seven forty two. We did it everybody. Another episode. Thank you for getting through episode nine. A garlic butter parmesan Tuscan mushrooms. Um, like, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, subscribe right now and hit the button. That's the bell right next to it. You'll get uh, you get notifications. I'm going live, and then uh, yeah, make it through another week, and we'll see you next week. Remember that uh, be kind to each other, uh, be loyal, and you know go do something nice for somebody else. And uh, see you next week. Thank you.